What can I help you with? Well, I've got a World War II book that was authored and also autographed by Dwight D. Eisenhower. Wow, really? He was in charge of the biggest military operation in the history of the world ever, which is pretty amazing to me. I'm assuming it's not a comedy. So far, I've gotten through part of it, no comedy. <laughs> I came to the pawn shop today to try and sell my Dwight D. Eisenhower book, autographed by Eisenhower. I purchased the book at an estate sale. I would like to sell the book because I've got my eye on a Richard Nixon and Gerald Ford autograph. Crusade in Europe. I like the title. Did you know much about it? It follows him through his campaign in Europe from start to finish, and okay. it's his exploits of what happened during the war. Here's a note from President Roosevelt appointing Ike to command of Operation Overlord, storming the beaches at Normandy. OK. Eisenhower, I think, is my dad's favorite president, because as far as my dad is concerned, basically, if you were a lifer in the military, you're all right. And if you didn't spend your entire life in the military, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> During World War II, Eisenhower was basically in charge of all the fighting in Europe. He was the guy in charge of planning the Normandy invasion. Hearing about D-Day from him would be completely different than reading it from a textbook. So it's signed by him? Yes. To, well, I guess that's Pamela Bird. Best wishes, Dwight D. Eisenhower. It really becomes Eisenhower's rookie card because at the time he signed this, he wasn't president yet. He was mm -hmm. president of Columbia University, so it's before he became president of the United States. Yeah. All right, so how much were you looking to get out of it? I'm looking for a thousand. Maybe. Um, let me call up a friend. She's an expert in rare books. She'll probably know the signature. And if this is a first edition and all that fun stuff. So let me get her down here. If everything's legit, um, we'll talk money. All right, thanks. I feel fairly confident about it. Certainly hope that there is a big payday at the end of this, that we can come to an agreement and I can sell the book. Rebecca, how's it going? Good. I hear you have an Eisenhower for me. The guys usually call me down here because they don't know a lot about books. Crusade in Europe, this is all about World War II, specifically the European front. Eisenhower was involved in this from pretty much the beginning. He was the person who contained the divas, and that includes people like Patton, who didn't want to listen to anyone, <laughs> or General Montgomery, who was the same way on the British side. It's pretty common in a historical event like this, one of the major generals or participants will write a memoir about it but they're not common signed. I have the same book in the signed limited edition. OK. What we're going to do is look at the two signatures. One thing that we have to worry about is that Eisenhower actually had an auto pen. So there is the possibility in, in this time period that he could actually have the auto pen signed for him. I see. The nice thing about this, though, is you have this full inscription here. And since you've got a uniformity of ink with the inscription and the signature, we know it's not auto pen. Great. But the other thing that you might worry about with Eisenhower is actually that it could be secretarial. So from what I can tell here and here, it's real. Sweet. Oh, that's great. Awesome. OK, so is this like a first edition? This is this a second edition? It is a first edition. It's How do you awful. tell? How do you tell? You know, it depends on the book. With this book, it's pretty simple. You're just looking at the copyright date here, and you don't have any extra mention of printings. OK. Awesome. So this is first. It is a first edition, and Fantastic. it is signed. These are all, all right. good things. So what's it worth? Well, one thing I can tell you, just looking at it, it does not have the dust jacket. It does not. This was originally issued with a dust jacket, so it's not considered complete. Oh, all right. If it had the dust jacket, $3,000. OK. Without the jacket, this book is worth $1,500. Half price because of that. That's right. A book as a collectible needs to be complete as it was originally issued. That means if it had a dust jacket, it needs to retain the dust jacket. If it was an original binding, it should stay in that binding. You're losing a huge part of its value. How much you want for it now? Well, she said 1500 I'm thinking around 1000 That gives you a little room. 
I'm thinking more like 800 bucks. How about the difference, 900? <sighs> Does have Eisenhower's signature. We know that. I know. We're still talking about a lot of money for a book. But it's an Eisenhower book. 850. <sighs> no, I've got to stay with nine. It's, it's really unique. You know what? I'll, I'll go the nine. I'll go the nine. All right, we got a deal. All right. Thanks. I'll meet you right up front. This was a total no-brainer. A book written and signed by a five-star general who later became president? I just hit the jackpot.